Well, the commission that Congress appointed to investigate what caused the financial crisis met with Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner and Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke this week. Here with an update on what progress has been made is Phil Angelides. He's the chairman of the Financial Crisis Inquiry Commission. Uh, good morning to you, Mr. Angelides. You met with the Fed Chairman, the Treasury Secretary. What are you asking of them, and what did you take away from the conversation? Well, over the last several weeks, the commission has gotten underway, and we've been holding a series of informational meetings really to bring us up to date as commissioners. And we've been asking economists, uh, leaders in the economy, public uh, leaders like uh, Chairman Bernanke and Secretary Geithner to speak with us and to give us their views of uh, what were the contributing causes to the financial crisis. And uh, we are now really fully underway with our work, our inquiry, our investigation. Uh, we're going to be sending requests for information out to both public agencies that were in charge of regulating the financial industry, as well as major banks and investment houses who uh, participated in what turned out to be the biggest financial crisis of the last uh, 50, 70 years in this country. Uh, so we're underway, and we're very hopeful also that we'll soon be announcing public hearings so we can begin to lay out for the American people or, and begin asking the questions that deserve to be asked on behalf of the American people about what drove America to the financial cliff. Now, you mentioned it's interesting there that some of the public agencies, not just the financial institutions, you're going to be looking at. You do have subpoena powers in, on this commission. Who specifically are you looking for more information from? Well, you know, our job is to give a full and fair accounting to the American people about what led to this financial meltdown. And uh, we're a commission that's supposed to be nonpartisan, a step away from politics. We're not supposed to pull any punches. So we will be asking for information and calling before us the major participants in our financial markets. That means the big investment houses and banks in this country. It also means some of the key agencies like the Federal Reserve and the Securities and Exchange Commission that were charged with watching what happened for our economy. And I will say that our goal here is not to play gotcha, but rather to lay out the facts, pursue the truth, um, and uh, make sure the American people have a better understanding of how we ended up in this deep financial recession and how we ended up uh, expending uh, hundreds of billions, trillions of dollars of public taxpayers' mm -hmm. dollars to stabilize a financial industry that, I might add, is doing very well now while the rest of the country continues to suffer. You know, we saw two interesting stories today. One is how housing starts are down by about 10 percent. Mm -hmm. And we all know there's about 25 million people out of work, underemployed, who have stopped looking for work. Yet at the same time, uh, the New York State Comptroller's Office today uh, unveiled a report that showed that the four big investment banks, Goldman, Merrill, Morgan Stanley, and the investment arm of J.P. Morgan, will be seeing record profits this year, right. $23 billion in the first three quarters. So the American people want to understand what the heck is happening. Well, December 15th is the deadline that your commission is looking at. We're not that uh, of far next from that year. date. Of next Two, year. No, 2010. Of 2010. So we, yes. But still, so we are, are you at this yes. point, before the end of the year, though, uh, preparing any subpoenas? We are right. We're, here's how we're going to start, and we've already started this. We are asking people to cooperate, to give us the information that we need to do our investigatory work. And so we will ask people on behalf of um, our country to help uh, in our inquiry, because we think it's in the best interest of recovering and rebuilding our economy. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you this, if we do not get cooperation, we are prepared to use the powers of subpoena because if there are facts we need, if there's truth we need to pursue, we intend to get it. I will say that uh, yesterday, I was very pleased to see that the White House Chief of Staff, Rahm mm -hmm. Emanuel, issued a directive uh, to agencies in the federal government uh, saying that the president believes this is an important inquiry. and. Uh, uh, the chief of staff on behalf of the president asked for full cooperation of all federal agencies, and I hope we'll get the same cooperation on behalf of the American people from all those banks and investment banks that were the beneficiaries of the taxpayer dollars. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, we'll continue to follow your work there, Mr. Angelides. Thank you for coming to us live from Washington today.